Uh, hello world, my name is Ken. I am attempting a small review on the Yokan XGO 1 with Nero technology. I think that's supposed to represent near zero technology, referring to the resistance of this uh, micro foil type heating element that they've come up with. And um, usually, I would have always preferred Seago. Seago, I think, makes the best uh, canthal coil products. Um, it's affordable, you know, it's a really good vape. Although they have wicks, a lot of people like really aren't into wicks. Um, it was still really good. But then I saw that these uh, Nero's came out you know, and just um, being a person who got into vaping uh, from the uh, wax end of the spectrum, really wanted to try it out, just to see, um, you know, is it like my toys? So, I got it um, just two days ago. I ordered it on eBay for like 16 bucks or something. It's just the uh, Exco W1. There's a W1 W2 and a W3. The W3, they're all mainly the same, same elements, uh, except for uh, the Exco 1 and 2 is basically like the Seago V hit uh, B and C, exactly. Same design but with the Nero heating element. And uh, the Exco 3. Is the same heating element except for it's like a, a larger style atomizer so that it's made to fit flush onto uh, onto like a mechanical mod or a Segeli or you know whatever uh, whatever you want to use or whatever you use out there that doesn't have the standard ego connection I happen to have purchased a, a little ego connector that I've been using on my uh, Chiyu mod it's only like a Five bucks or something. Uh, Who did I get it from? Uh, not them. <coughs> anyway, it's not important who I got it from right now. But um, you can get them. They're a good thing to have. Uh, the vape on it. I don't know. I'll show you right away how it lights up. That's the most exciting visual portion of it. Here. I just have to uh, replace my element. You're not going to be able to see it in the used element because uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> the oil is uh, going to be obstructing your view. But here's what it looks like when it fires up, just like in every other video. Just lights right the fuck up and it looks pretty cool at first right looks really cool um hang on a second because i've got to uh grab this coil element i just dropped it on my couch okay um i'm back and uh i've gotten the piece of dropped from underneath the couch i'll show you one more time what the heating element looks like bare uh, when lighting it up and this should be about like Four volts or something. I had it fully charged. Uh, Sony VTC4 or something. Uh, vaped down a little bit this morning, so probably like four volts or anywhere between three point seven and four. Not that it should really matter with these, from what they tell you, because they're supposed to operate at a super low voltage because of the near zero uh, thing. I haven't had a great experience with it yet, really. Um, it's got a different design from uh, the regular uh, Canthal coils because uh, they all have like an airflow um, coming from beneath the coil inside of their uh, little elements. And uh, you know, as long as you've got like a nice, uh, thicker, touchable wax or shatter or something, that's uh, great. Actually, uh, it works pretty good. Except for you know the coil thing, and sometimes 
they get all gunky, you know, but uh, you can actually rebuild those too. Um, same as you can rebuild like, you know, the Kangaroo Tech uh, coils. And um, it's pretty easy if you just take them apart. You need like a little insulator for your canthal or something like that to get it on there. There's usually one in there. If you save it, then you can reuse it. I've done that before. Um, so I tried these out. They're not as great as I thought originally they were going to be because uh, the airflow design I was just mentioning is completely different because of this like uh, nano foil or whatever you know you can't just poke a hole through it or something I guess I don't I really don't know um, but uh, the airflow comes from the bottom and then goes around through the sides of this little chamber and what it does is I'll show you maybe you can see it's got these two air holes along the side of the ceramic barrel containing the foil. Um, you can see there as they roll it around, there's one, and then there's the other, and then, again, that's still a fresh one. Um, so, yeah, the heating element's on the bottom, the air comes from the side, and you basically, uh, have to hit off the smoke that rises up from it, you know, but I don't really like that. I don't think there's enough agitation on the heated material for it to really, like, smoke up. And I guess I could show you what I mean here with a little demonstration. This does come with a small, like, a spill cap or whatever for uh, the element. That's okay, I guess. It's got like a mess guard or something. It's got like this two hole design. And um, I'm going to take it off so that you can see maybe the smoke production that it makes inside this little glass chamber. It's a tiny glass chamber. In order to, for discretion, but anyway. I actually got a pretty good hit that time. Um, most of the time it's been like a really, really light hit. Now I guess I can show you in comparison with the uh, regular Canthal coil um, burner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this isn't a Seago, this is just some cheap little thing. This didn't have a replaceable coil actually, but it's basically the same dang thing. On it real quick, just to show if there's any difference at all. But there's not really any wax in here. Yeah. Give it a little, put a little dab in there. my tweezers, man. Uh, there we go. Just a little key here. Pop a little wax. There we go. Alright. Now, hopefully I'll be able to see a little bit better. The difference in the hit that I know there is. Not so much on that one, but really, it's because I have it on this mechanical mod. <coughs> For some reason, I had a lot of problems with the Exco uh, working uh, on my uh, variable voltage. I think this is like a uh, Smoke Tech Arrow, and um, it just didn't operate as well. It's weird because you think uh, it would. Variable voltage, you know, this is stuck at 3.7. Uh, 
Um, I'll show you that now, I guess. Maybe you can tell the difference there. I'm going to turn it up to I guess, uh, 4.2 volts. See, I really get nothing. Even, uh, getting any kind of fire at all, actually, moving it now. It's pretty weird because I use this uh, ego all the time. Yeah, it's just not working at all. It worked just slightly yesterday. Try this G chamber on top of it. This is what I had been using on this little ego style. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna turn it up to 4.8. Wrong way. I usually like to vape it. As soon as I find my glass sleeve. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, here it is. It's working really good. <coughs> it's working a little too good. And that's just some cheap atomizer, non-replaceable atomizer chamber from fucking China. It's labeled the G chamber or something. Got it some from a French shop or something. He had he ordered some ego style batteries that came with those. And batteries were all defective, so we sent them back and kept the chambers. And uh, the Nero, for some reason, did not want to work on my Ego style. I don't know if anyone else is having any problems with that. Um, I'm going to try and change the element right now to a new one, see how that fires the fuck off. Let me just give me a second to find where I set the fresh one. All my clutter. Alright, I found it. Um, try it off. Try it out in this little ego. This is Smoke Tech Arrow that I purchased from Seagars in uh, North Cape May, New Jersey. Bunch of dickheads. But a uh, nice shop. It actually is lighting up. That's a surprise. So, um, I think I should put some wax in there and try it, a fresh coil again. Maybe for some reason, if you put too much wax in these little coils, they'll just spoil right away. Uh, so let's do that for you guys who will watch this video. I've been very curious about this product since it came out in uh, like August or something like that. Or, over the summer and no one's done any kind of good reviews on it you know they do have another product actually called the uh, the Thor the Yokan Thor and that's pretty cool what it is is like it's like I think an 18350 mod or something that's uh, designed with one of these up at the top one of these Nero elements and um, like an air channel that goes through the bottom to a funnel shaped mouthpiece so that it can then be dropped onto any like bong or water pipe female piece around like it because of the cone shape it will just fit to uh, you know any size hole or whatever and you can just have it around and either mouth vape it like that or you can drop it on your friend's pipe or wherever the fuck you are you know and uh, I think that's a really fucking cool alternative to having to sit there with your fucking Newport torch and, uh, you know, burn away at a fucking nail and it's it's a pain in the ass, you know. Uh, I haven't gotten a severe burn from it yet, thank fucking God. But I'm waiting for the day. And, um, it's costly. All that butane, man. Shit. So, just 
drop like a fresh little knuckle wax in there. Um, it's sitting right on top of that little foil mat, um, that little red thing. Screw my little cap on too, and uh, try and keep this upright so it'll maybe stay centered on the foil because I think it runs off to the sides or something like that, and then it's no good. I don't know. This thing doesn't really, I mean, the, I know people don't like wicks, but this isn't really good at keeping the wax on the heat. And like I said, because the air draw just goes straight over it, it doesn't really agitate it much. Maybe if the air holes would go down, like on a diagonal, pointed toward the bottom of the element or something, it would be better. Um, but let's try this out again. I guess I'm going to try it again at 4.2 volts. So, okay. It's alright. Oh, the taste is uh, really, really good off these. It's better than the Seagos, I think, because uh, there are no interfering, uh, you know, el heating elements or anything. It's just this little thing. There's no wick to spoil it and whatever. And uh, that's about it. I think that's like a, just about the only uh, winning feature that it has over the regular Canthal coil. Um, Seago V hit type uh, coils, you know. That's kind of what I mean. Yeah, see, it's not much of a hit at all. <coughs> uh, I think Yokan has some work to do with this design for sure. But, um, that must be why they're not, like, selling very well. Anyway, uh, I'm glad I didn't buy a Yokan Thor, because I think it's like a um, hundred, hundred bucks or something like that. And it's a cool concept, though, but, like, there's rarely any vapor coming out of this shit. So I don't know how much fucking vapor you would see coming through a bong, or let alone a three or four chamber bong or something, you know. That's pretty much it. I just did this review because I haven't seen any other people doing any kind of like comprehensive review on this kind of you know new product. I think it might actually work really well. I forgot to mention with thinner oils because the Seago type products, you know, the bottom-fed air hole heating elements uh, would all get really clogged if I had any kind of honey oils or something. It had to all be waxed or shattered because as soon as anything like that would come in, it would. Uh, totally fuck it up, it would leak down <clears throat> and end up, you know, dirtying my contacts on my batteries and it would just be a mess and, uh, you know, you wouldn't be able to hit it and all kinds of fucking problems. See, actually, this is what it looks like after I just hit that. I'll show you. That's the heating element there and most of the wax has gone down into the crevices, the doldrums of my bowl. And that's no good, because I don't think it'll do anything from there. I mean, it just melts down to the other crevice. And it's like I have a perpetual, wasted, small, tiny amount of wax that I will never be able to get. And uh, if you put too much, I think it drowns it. So, it needs work. But I will try this little bit of thin oil I have. It's a really dark hash oil that got from a friend a while ago. It's so ugly looking, I don't even know what to do with it. <clears throat> but I saved a little drop of it and just because. Um, it's totally not touchable. I've had it on a piece of parchment in my freezer. Um, it will leak through any other vape pen I have. And uh, this is the first time I'm going to try it with this little Nero. Maybe my theory is right. Maybe because of the side-fed airflow, um, this you know will work for 
for these kind of oils. And uh, that would be cool, I guess. Because, you know, sometimes you get this shit and you don't know what the fuck to do with it, man. <coughs> I'm gonna put my cap on, I guess. It's probably splatter. But we'll see. Gotta hit it really lightly. I don't. I don't even really feel, feel this thing working. Um, even if I turn it up to four point eight. There's uh yeah nothing going on there. and how hard it was hitting it. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping it was going to be really, really cool. Uh, Yokan, you've got to test your products before you release them. You would have been better off just releasing uh, a Canthal coil with a ceramic wick. And the same for Seago, you should do that too. Ceramic wicks, I think, are where it's at. Um, that's pretty much the end of this fucking review, dude. Aside from that, I could show you my fucking new V2 Rose I got, or my Rose V2 clone. <coughs> it's really weird because it's, I know it's a clone, but it came in this all authentic looking packaging. It's proudly made in England and everything, but I'll do that uh, review another time.